Good evening and welcome to Pearls of Grace Tuesday night Bible study. And tonight is our last Tuesday night of ever being a woman's only Bible study. From next week onwards, we're opening the Bible study up to men as well. Okay. So we in sort of celebration and goodbyes to women only. Last night when we finished Stephanie's Bible group, I didn't even know what I was going to talk about tonight. And I started talking to God. And in the wee hours of the morning, God laid this on my heart. So this morning before I went to work, I quickly pulled some notes together. And I'm going to talk about the Proverbs 31 woman. Because ladies, we are all a Proverbs 31 woman. Now, we all know the story, right? Proverbs 31 from verses from verse 10 right through to verse 30. I'll quickly run through. OK, let me take a minute or two. So start in verse 10. Who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She is worth more than precious rubies. Her husband can trust her. And she will greatly enrich his life. Hear that, ladies? We enrich his life. She will not hinder him, but help him all her life. She finds wool and flax and busily spill, spins it. She is like a merchant ship. She brings her food from afar. She gets up before dawn uh, to prepare for breakfast for her household and plan the day's work for her servant girls. She goes out to inspect the field and buys it with her earnings. She plants a vineyard. She is energetic and strong, a hard worker. She watches for bargains. Her lights burn late into the night. Her hands are busy spinning thread, her fingers twisting fibre. She extends a helping hand to the poor and opens her arms to the needy. She has no fear of winter for her household, for sorry, for her household, because all of them have warm clothes. She quilts her own bedspreads. She dresses like royal royalty in gowns of finest cloth. Her husband is well known, for he sits in the council meeting with the other civic leaders. She makes belted linen garments and sashes to sell to the merchants. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs with no fear of the future. When she speaks, her words are wise, and kindness is the rule when she gives instructions. She carefully watches all that she all that goes on in her household and does not have to bear the consequences of laziness. Her children stand and bless her. Her husband praises her. There are many virtuous and capable women in the world, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty goes not, or sorry, and beauty does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. Reward for all she has done. Let her deeds publicly declare her praise. Now, that seems sort of like a pretty tall order, doesn't it, to do, uh, to do in uh, 2020? I think it's pretty tall order to do. A brief background on the uh, on the Proverbs 31 woman describes a, a wife of noble character and she's worth more than rubies. Now, um, many people say that uh, the entire uh, Proverbs 31 was written by King Lemuel. Other people, other scholars believe it was Solomon using a pen name of Lemuel. Lots of people think that Lemuel was a fictitious person. It's not really completely clear exactly who King Lemuel is, you know, but we know that th this, this chapter, it's a poem. And it's believed, lots of people, and I tend to prefer to believe this, that it was actually King Solomon wrote this, and this is what his mother Beth, Bathsheba brought him up to find in a good wife for him. Now, 
So she's not an actual historical person, uh, the proper woman, but the ideal woman that Bathsheba wanted for her son. I think that's uh, really what is, is the best way to describe it, because I don't think any woman could have lived like this as perfect as Liz. Now, when you approach the Proverbs 31 woman passage, you need to keep in mind that God has it in the canon of scripture for a reason. He really has. And the Proverbs 31 woman does not provide an exact prescription of her womanhood. You've got to remember that. But instead, wisdom on how to live a godly life. Okay? You've got to keep that in mind. And, you, and a life that can only be lived by one whose faith and trust in God. So that's what a Proverbs 31 woman is. And she's, you know, she's any woman, she's you, she's me, she's the woman down the street, she's every one of us. But she's any woman who has surrendered her heart to God and devoted her life to following Christ. That's what a Proverbs 31 woman is. She's not perfect. She's beautiful, or sorry, she's faithful. She's beautiful too, but she's faithful to follow her perfect God on any journey he would call her to. Now, in Proverbs 31, verses 10 till uh, 31, you can see I've, I've scribbled down here 25 attributes about the Proverbs 31 woman, okay? And we'll start in verse 10. She is faithful. She's trustworthy. She's emotionally healthy. She's frugal. She's organized. She's decisive. She's energetic and physically healthy. She's industrious. She's hardworking. She's generous. She's prepared. This doesn't sound like any of us here, does it? It really doesn't. Um, she's prepared, to, I got to that, she's modest, she's proud of her husband, she's confident in her business, she isn't fearful, she's got a sense of humour, now that is me, I, I know I've got a sense of humour, so I got one out of these 25, okay, she's wise, she thinks before she speaks, that's certainly not me, she's not lazy, She's nurturing, and that could be said of any woman who has children. She nurtures, or even spiritual children. You nurture your, your children. She's blessed by her family. She values inner beauty. She fears the Lord, and she doesn't brag. That is 25 attributes about the, the Proverbs 31 woman in the verses 10 to 31. Now, that's, what was, that's what's led out uh, in Proverbs 30, 31. But jump forward to the year 2022. And we can think of a modern day Proverbs woman. How can we be one? I would simply say, first and foremost, seek wisdom. We're told in James 1 and 5 that God is faithful to supply wisdom. We ask him earnestly. He will supply that wisdom to us. Be honest. Be, you know, keep serving as much as we can, as long as we can keep serving. Be faithful. Be disciplined. And especially to the vision God has called you to. Be virtuous, be strong, seek the Lord, stay humble. And in staying humble, I mean by making a name for Jesus and not for yourself, giving God all the glory to everything you've got and everything you do well, give him all the praise and glory for it. Stay diligent. Live stewardship, be self-controlled, set boundaries. I'm a great one for setting boundaries. And 
Oh, Sue will tell you, everybody that knows me knows that, you know, Sue and I is in full-time ministry and you're, we're uh, Sunday, nearly all day Sunday, we're working down at the church. On a Monday night, we're at Bible study, a Tuesday night, we're at Bible study, and then Thursday, we're at church again. And my husband isn't in ministry. And it's not fair of me that I spend so much time in ministry and rob him of quality time with me. So I have set boundaries that Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night and Saturday night are family time. Now, if something really urgent or important arises, I will deal with it. But on the whole, I try to keep from five o'clock in those four nights till bedtime as family time. We'll watch a movie, we'll watch a documentary, get a big bag of popcorn and just have family time. That's my boundaries. Another boundary I have is I turn my phone off at 10 o'clock at night because I need rest. And you know, if somebody really, really, really needs me, they can't get in touch with me. But uh, if it's just to answer a, a quick mess and a message or something like that, you know, like a messenger and WhatsApp. And I don't mean from this group, I mean from other groups and things that I belong to. I turn my phone off, so that's another boundary. So boundaries are healthy. We do have to set boundaries. And it's okay to say no. If somebody's asking you to do too many things or is asking you to do something you don't really want to do, it doesn't sit right in your spirit, say no. It's okay to say no. And another, I think another important one is that for us to be a modern day Proverbs 31 woman is to break free from the standards of the world. We don't live by the standards of the world. We we live by the standards of the kingdom of heaven. No, we do. But I know in today's day world with TikTok and Instagram, I'm like, some of the videos that's up on TikTok, I don't do TikTok, but uh, I've watched some things, there's some of the horrible videos that's up in TikTok. Uh, there's a channel on YouTube that is making fun of them. But some of the videos are absolutely horrendous. So we got to break free from the standards of the world and follow God's standards. Now, becoming a Proverbs 31 woman, I've got like six little, uh, it's like a little quiz I have here. I want you to think about these things and we can talk about them when I open up uh, the discussion. One, in verses 10 and 12, she is trustworthy. Now, Think about it. How do the verses describe a woman who is trustworthy? We can all brainstorm it so we can. And we can think about it uh, some ways that uh, we can become more trustworthy in our lives. I need to think about that one too. In verses 13 and 16, we're told that she is hard working. Now, would others describe you as hard working? How can we improve on this? And then we can list in our own time, we can list some areas of our lives that we need a bit more attention to. Number three, she is strong. Do we think of ourselves as strong people? If so, why? Or if not, why? She is creative. We've all got personal talents. Sue's got many brilliant talents, but I, the one that I really admire at Sue is, is her Bible art journaling. I just love that. She's got loads of other talents, but I really like that one. And then we'll have to think that our personal ta uh, talents, how we can use them to bless other people. So uses again her Bible art journaling to bless other people because do you remember all the little journals that you made at one point, Sue? 
and he gave them out. She, she spent, I don't know how many months, maybe years, making all these lovely handmade books. And she blessed the in-person ladies at Pearls of Grace with a copy each, what, two years ago? I've, I've still got mine. I haven't written in it yet because I know it's only a book, but it's precious. And Sue made it with her hands and I want to keep it as long as I possibly can until I've got something really, really, really special to write into it. Then I'll use it. Number five. List some of the ways the Proverb 31 woman shows love in the verses. So we can think about that one. And then number six. You know, she fears God. Commit. Well, it's this this little thing that I I got this on Professor Google, and it's the little quiz thing that you know, sort of you you can do the little answers and things to it. But it says uh, she fears God. Verses thirty to thirty one. Commit these two verses to memory, and write a prayer asking God to help you fear Him more. Now, if you all want to do this, I'll uh, do a copy of this and put it up on the group. And you could all work on it if you want your own time and then we can share it in the group or some night we can take a couple of minutes and talk about it again but that's what i felt led to do today tonight talking about the proverbs 31 woman and you know it can really be related to men as well we can relate it to uh, proverbs 31 men because they have to be a uh, sure wisdom they have to be honest and serving and faithful, just like we have to be as well. I hope you all enjoyed that. I'm going to open the uh, Zoom room up uh, so we can have a uh, discussion, a chit chat and much prayer. So all of you uh, watching this on playback through YouTube, Facebook or anywhere else, I hope you got something from this and if you need any more talk and you want anyone to pray for you, with you, over you, get in touch with us and we will gladly do that. Until our next Bible study and remember next Tuesday it will be men and women Bible group. So all men welcome. We'll see you soon and until then God bless you each and every one. Bye.